Hi, my name is David Braun and I am in now in my sixth year as an MD PhD student here at Mount Sinai. It's been it's been a long time but a, a really good journey so far and I'm looking forward to the next few years as well. Uh, before coming to Sinai, uh, I grew up in Canada, in Toronto, Canada. Um, but it got a little too cold, there were one too many polar bear attacks. And so after that I decided I had to come south a little bit and end up going to college uh, here in the States. Uh, I went to Princeton and I studied molecular biology and computer science. And I always had an interest both in sort of bio biology, computer science, uh, I really wanted to get involved with medicine somehow. And so uh, I guess around my sophomore year, uh, I first found out about MD PhD programs that could really allow me to combine a lot of those interests. Um, and so uh, I applied to a number of places and a, a few things really struck me about Sinai. And, uh, they, they were really focusing on translational research, on, on bridging the gap between sort of the basic science and, and clinical applications. They had this computational biology program together with NYU that really allowed you know different perspectives in math modeling and computer science as well. And so that really stuck out at me. And so, uh, you know, I ended up here and uh, uh, I've, I've loved it ever since. Right now I'm working in the lab of Dr. Stuart Siofon and the focus on the lab is really understanding, I guess, mechanisms of response specificity. And it's a, it's a fancy term, but it's basically why do cells respond the way they do. Cells see all these different signals in their environment, you know, hundreds, thousands of different signals, growth factors, cytokines, all these different things. And they're able to generate all these very specific responses. They really seem to know what to do. And how they get those specific responses is really not well understood. And what really drew me to this lab is uh, Dr. Siofan's approach of combining math modeling with experimental work. And so that's, you know, that, that was right up my alley, and that's really what I wanted to do. And uh, I've had a great time so far. And, you know, on just the practical level, you know, when pipetting gets a little too boring back and forth, I can switch to sort of a more theoretical side, uh, more math, math, math modeling side. And then, you know, when there's a robot there, kind of go back and forth. And I really like that integration, and, and the project has been great. And one really nice feature about working for uh, an MD is there's always that kind of translational focus as well, that translational picture, even if it's slightly in the background sometimes when the project takes more basic science tilt, you're always thinking, well, how can this relate to diseases? How can this relate to improved therapeutics, improved diagnostics? And so that's something that, you know, moving forward in my career has really stuck with, you know, will stick with me um, and has been great for me. I've learned a, a lot of, a lot of cool things at Mount Sinai. Um, and I got, I guess, involved in some, some things I wouldn't have guessed I would have gotten involved with getting started. Um, as you might guess from the, uh, the few questions so far, I'm a bit of a science nerd and, you know, I had some outside interest filming in, but it was, it was mostly science. Um, but then starting at Mount Sinai, and I think this is something that's unique to this environment, I really uh, got involved in a lot of different uh, humanistic areas. So one thing that's unique about Mount Sinai on the MD side is this humanities and medicine program where uh, humanities majors can come in uh, and you know really contribute to the class. And they, they really do. It really adds a very different perspective to the Mount Sinai class. And just being involved in that sort of more diverse uh, discussion, I, I've gotten involved in a lot of areas such as EHOP, Positions for Human Rights, uh, areas outside the classroom that uh, you know I might not have guessed I would have would have been interested in going in, and uh, that's something I guess unique about Mount Sinai. Just getting exposed to so many different viewpoints really really kind of uh, broadens your world of view, and, and you'll end up doing a lot that you wouldn't have wouldn't have thought you'd be into otherwise. I, in the future, uh, I hope to kind of continue what I'm doing here in Mount Sinai, which is have a, a great research project, uh, continue on with my own lab, stay involved in academics, stay involved in teaching, but also be involved with patient care and, and in a clinic. Um, I, I really hope to be able to see patients, uh, to really help, help patients through tough times, uh, but at the same time also learn from patients and bring what I learn to research questions that I can then investigate in the lab. And then ideally, you know, after, after really thoroughly investing in those problems, trying to keep in mind how be be able to improve therapeutics, improve diagnostics, and improve patient care, and bring 
bring those laboratory discoveries back to patients I'll see in the clinic and hopefully to the broader community at large. And so overall, that's, that's really what I hope to be doing with patient care, um, laboratory research, and teaching as well. SANAI really is the ideal environment for an MD-PhD student. Um, it's, it's really unique in, in a lot of different ways, but the most important way is it's focused on translational research. Now, there's a lot of places with big universities attached to them that have great laboratories that are really focused on basic science research. Uh, and that's extremely important and, that, and that's great. But being at Mount Sinai, just being here on the 14th floor of, of Annenberg building, you know, I, I go to my lab every morning and I, I walk by uh, pediatric fellows, I walk by neurology residents. There's just this constant integration of medicine and, uh, and science, medicine and research that I really, you know, even at, as an undergraduate at Princeton, which doesn't have a medical school, I mean, I, I never had seen before. And so even, you know, even as a researcher, you're always thinking about medicine, how this relates back to patients. As, as, a, as a physician, you're thinking, you know, about the research side, me mechanisms and, and things like that that are underlying disease. And so as an MD-PhD, that's really the training I want to get. MD-PhDs, uh, the future physician scientists, will, will be ideally suited to really bridge the gap between medicine and research and really accelerate the development of, of, of cures for patients. And being at a place like Mount Sinai really gives you a feeling and an appreciation for how that's possible and how you'll be able to do that.